Good Saturday afternoon, Southview family. It's a joy to come to you once more in uh, just a brief conversation, encouraging you to pray about our service tomorrow as we open back up and have our first corporate worship service in a lot of weeks. It's been far too long, in my opinion, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm looking forward to worshiping together here at Southview once more. Let me encourage you to remember that it'll be a 1030 service in the morning, no evening service, no nursery, no children's church, no Sunday school before the worship service. So remember those changes. Now we're trying to navigate through this situation and we're trying to be sensitive to what the needs are to our, for our church and for our church family. And so you'll bear with us. There'll be some changes. There won't be bulletins handed out tomorrow. There will not be an offering basket passed at the close of the service. Instead, there will be boxes in the foyer where you can drop your offering in, and we're just trying to minimize the risk any way we can. Now, some have asked, are we going to require masks and gloves? No, we're not requiring anything. If you want to wear a mask, that's your prerogative. I will not be preaching with a mask on, and I'll not be preaching with gloves on. So uh, that's just the way it's going to be, and we will have people spaced out. We're going to mark off about every other row of chairs, and uh, we'll have it spaced out in a safe way. And so I hope that you'll be here in the morning. My message title is The Demand for Decisiveness. And I believe God will speak to his heart, to our hearts through his word as we examine it together tomorrow. And then of course, remember that even though we're having worship service, we're having uh, live streaming and that's going to continue because we're finding out there are many people who are shut in and so forth who are just unable uh, to come to church. And there are some with underlying conditions that do not feel comfortable coming yet to the corporate worship. And we respect that. And nobody's gonna condemn you for that, but we are going to continue the live streaming uh, from here on out. And so you pray that God will use all of our efforts for his honor and his glory. I want to leave you with a couple of wonderful verses found in Psalm 107. Listen to verses 1 and 2. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's remember that we're redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And let's never fail to say so. Let's pray together. Father, bless these words to my listeners' hearts. Bless our service in the morning. And may you use it for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.